to my channel. Uh, my name is Eno. So in today's video, I'll be talking about uh, Wireshark. Uh, I'll be talking about how to customize the, the color coloring rules. These are the colors that appear on your uh, the packet list window. So right now, as you can see, there's like a default kind of like a green color on most of the packets here. And if you scroll down, you will see uh, different kind of like red uh, color for some of the packets. So uh, just a brief overview of what, what Wireshark is. So Wireshark is a, it's a free tool that is often used for packet analysis. So this is, it uh, can be used by say a network engineer who's looking to troubleshoot a network issue. You know, it can also be used by somebody who's doing like a discovery on a network. Uh, it could be used for uh, for good uh, purposes as well as uh, for malicious purposes. Say there's a malicious individual that's trying to uh, eavesdrop or trying to observe a network and see what kind of packets are being transferred on, the, uh, on a given network. They can use Wireshark to do that uh, by examining the packets. So, uh, like I said, um, all, I'm, all, I, all I'm going to do here is just a, a quick video on how to customize the colors uh, that you see on Wireshark. Um, so, one thing you can do if you don't, some people sometimes you don't, don't like to see the colors. There's a quick way to remove the colors that you see. There's an icon up here. Um, if you hover your mouse, it should... Uh, say something about well it's not saying anything now but it's this icon right here that if you click on it removes the packets and as you can say as you can see it says draw packets using your coloring rules that's what it that's the name of the icon and then another way to turn off or turn on the, uh, the these colors is by going to view then scroll down to where it says uh, colorize packet list. If you click on this, as you can see, the, the, the colors are back on. So in order to make changes to the uh, colors or the, the rules for the colors, you can go back to view. And then once you're in view, go to where it says coloring rules and click on that. And then a new window should pop up right here. So once you have this, window here you can see what it's currently set set up as so these are the, the applied rules that are being used at the moment so we'll go ahead and create a new rule for uh, let's say you, you want to do a rule for TCP scene you just want to highlight those and make them stand out any any packets that have a TCP scene um, on you want to uh, just make those uh, use a different color for those so in order to create a new rule, what you, you, you need to do is at the bottom left here, there's a plus icon. So go ahead and click on that icon. And then at the top here, you see a new rule was created. Double click on the new rule right here, the name. It's gonna highlight it, you can delete it. And then you can type in your new rule. So we say TCP scene is gonna be the name of the, of the new rule. And then under filter, you'll need to know what filter you're typing in. So an example is um, we have here TCP flags, TCP, TCP flags dot reset equals equals one. So ours is gonna be uh, for the um, the scene. So if scene is one, then that's the one we want. So we can kind of copy from that and say tcp dot flags dot scene. So this is a valid rule because it's turning green here, that telling you it's valid. But we want when the uh, the scene bit uh, that option is turned on. That's what we're looking for. So now that we are good here, it's, it's green, we are good. And the color, the default color has been selected for, for us here. We can go ahead and uh, 
enable the checkbox here so that it's active. To change this, you can highlight it to change the colors. And then down here at the bottom, you see you have there's two options. You can change the background and the foreground. So let's say you want the foreground to be, you can pick whatever color you want. And then you click OK. And now you have the foreground. You can change the background here. You can put black. And now that's applied for you. You can click OK. And if you go back to your um, the packet list window, you can see uh, it's applied. Now, one way to determine the, uh, what you're going to apply or the name you're going to use for the filter, since we, we are, we are, our focus is on the TCP scene, you can go to a, an individual packet that has got um, a scene packet. So you can go to the top here. Say if your focus is just the TCP, and then you, you want to make sure the packet has a scene, uh, a scene in it. And then you'll go to, uh, to the packet details window down here. Then you go under flags, and then this is the one we're looking for. And if you look at the bottom of the window here, it gives you the, the name of the uh, filter, tcp.flags.scene. This is the name of the filter that you actually use. All you need to do is add equals to one because it's, it's set to one here. So that's how that's how you would apply that. That's how you know what filter. It'll give you an idea of what to use as a filter. And now uh, sometimes you have to kind of refresh by turning off the coloring and then turn on the coloring. And now as you can see, our, every packet that's got a scene and then a scene and, and a scene and an arc, they are uh, taking that new coloring rule that we applied. You can also um, verify by typing that filter again here and applying it. So it's TCP dot flags, flags dot scene equals to one. And if you apply that filter, and all those packets should be uh, using that coloring rule that you just applied. So that's how you actually apply um, a coloring rule. And uh, if you needed to delete it, you just have, all you have to go, to, all you have to do is go back to the uh, coloring rules, and then highlight. If you if you want to leave it there but not use it, just uh, use uh, remove the checkbox, the check mark in the box right there, and click OK, and that should remove the rule without using it. And now the rule is gone. As you can see, it's not being applied. And if you're looking to delete it all together, just go back to uh, go to view, coloring rules, uh, select it, make sure it's highlighted. And down here at the bottom, there's a minus sign. Just click it, and you, as you can see, it's gone. And that will delete it from your coloring rules. You can do the same with the other default ones. You can click it, change the color, uh, remove it if you don't want it, or uncheck it if you don't want it applied for a given uh, packet capture. So that's it for this video. I hope this video is useful. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.